never. The, the, uh, whoops. the defense would like to present evidence to the court. Evidence showing the reason why a card was swapped out. Then go ahead and point out your reason, Mr. Justice. Why did the killer take the fifth ace? Because it had blood on it. Yes, sir. My reason uh, is this? Is that an uh, ace? Why? Why, it's got blood on it! Right next to the spade! What? This is insane! How come I wasn't told about this? Could this be... Could this be the missing fifth ace? I didn't think fifth ace was really Inconceivable! How could you... Oh, you see that switch? What are you doing with that card? Get the Sharon gone out. <laughs> That's the thing. Why is Mr. Gavin so upset? It's just a fishy card from some rando. Oh, that card? It's mine. That is, I picked it up at the BBC the night after the murder had occurred. Give it to my daughter. Cards are stock and trade after all. No! Impossible! Unacceptable! The court cannot accept this evidence. It's a fraud! A fraud? I can be so sure. What? I don't think the only person who could claim it was a fraud would be the one who took the real card from the crime scene, the real killer. Allow me to elaborate. What if this trace of blood was the reason? The reason for... For the killer to take the card from the scene of the crime? Where are you going with this? Taking a look at the photo and at the victim's head. At the moment of the crime, his hat fell to the floor, and a trickle of blood ran from his forehead down the back of his head. Couldn't a drop of that blood have fallen on one of the cards? I suppose. The killer then took the card to hide the blood. Regardless, that evidence is non-permissible. Oh? Right? Regardless of how you wasted the last seven years, you used to be a lawyer. You know what a serious crime it is to conceal evidence. Oh, we can discuss the final points of our legal system later. He's like, uh, I know this shit is corrupt. What's important now is that I've answered your question. What are you talking about? You wouldn't even know why the killer would have taken a card from the crime scene. And now, I've told you. That one drop of blood would have been decisive evidence, you see? This is... This is baseless conjecture! Baseless! Damn, Damn. got it. Well, I assure you it's quite based. Oh. <laughs> Blind thud. <laughs> what? Gamer Phoenix. How a single drop of blood on a single card can lead us to the toot. It's quite simple. Well, Apollo? What? Try picturing the scene of the crime in your head. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yes, sir, Adobe. Straight out of Maya. <laughs> Man, fuck murder, Autodesk. The murder took place in the hideout. The body of the luckless victim was found at the poker table. And before the killer swapped a card out, there was a single card with a drop of blood on it in the victim's head. Given this <sighs> hand, there's one besides a problem with the scene. Well, what is it? And can I say it? Let's keep it simple, shall we? Given that there was a drop of blood on a card, whose position is this diagram? Whose position in this diagram doesn't fit? The victims, the killers, the witnesses, or the second witnesses? Repeat the 
question again? Whose position yeah, doesn't fit with the bloody ace? Hold on, say that again, I didn't hear it. Holy shit! Who's I almost had a second aneurysm. Whose position doesn't fit with the bloody ace? The fibers of my brain are struggling. The victim, the killer, the witness, or the second witness? Oh yeah, the Trance Logic is a really good song. This is another one of my favorites from the soundtrack. This is my dissociating music. <laughs> um, well, we can't look at our stuff, right? No. If I remember correctly, because I was a little bit confused about the... They were saying that the blood was dropping from his forehead, right? But the way his head was turned... I didn't think it was gonna hit the table. Is that what they're talking? They are just saying that the victim is out of place. Where was the card found again? The table. He's in a hand. The fifth ace that was, that was missing. Oh yeah, it would make sense that the victim's out of place, cause well, I'm, I, I kept thinking like if uh, he was, if you know, uh, Gavin or whatever it was number two on you. He would. There would be no way he would shoot him in the forehead from that direction. I don't know why I said shot like there was a gun. But... Darian. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. Sure. Let's go with that. I'm just thinking like he'd have to use a gun instead of like a bottle. Well, isn't something. the victim's position? Uh, the problem? I don't follow your logic here, Mr. Justice. Oh, look. The victim was struck on the head, sending him back in his chair. I think any blood would fall behind the body, not to the table in front of him. Ah! Uh. Take a look at the photo again. If he bled in this position, blood would fall on the floor, not on the cards. Why, that's right. So, what does this mean? Hmm. Incidentally, we were sitting in swivel chairs. Spin. Swivel chairs. Oh, man. Well, look, try turning the chair around. Click. Oh, do it right now. Turn it towards spin, sp spin it like the meme. Spin it like the meme. Aw. The chair was facing the other way? It would have to be. So we have to assume that at the time of the murder, the victim's chair was facing away from the table. When Mr. Wright returned from informing the police, which way was the chair facing? When I came back to the room, but it was facing the scene in the photo. Oh, I mean the killer turned the chair back around. Let's take the next step. Look at the diagram once more. We know now the victim was facing away from the table at the time of the murder. But this creates another significant contradiction. Again? I know, back to back to back, we're going dubby dum. Let's test your reasoning skills again, shall we? Let's say hypothetically, um, Apollo. Oh, fuck, never mind. Apollo, whose location on this diagram contradicts our new understanding of the crime? Victims? The killers, the witnesses, and the second witnesses. The killer wouldn't be able to be across, like, shoot, because then it would shoot, or hit him in the back of the head, right? Yes. Darian? Yeah. The victims was struck from the front, correct? Indeed. Word. Indeed. Word. Well, wouldn't it be hard for the killer to hit him from the front? Sitting where his indicator currently is? Yeah, you know, I would think it'd be quite hard, yes. Yes, yes but what you're saying makes absolutely no sense. Why would the victim suddenly turn to face the wall in the middle of a game? I believe a sufficient reason will soon come to light. 
What? There's something in this diagram that makes far less sense, actually. Looking into the diagram. Apollo, if the victim was struck while he was sitting as shown here, where would his assailant be standing? I mark it on a diagram if, you, if you'd be so kind. The assailant means the killer, right? Yeah. What, but? There's no room to put a mark where the killer should be. Alright, stick it through. See what we find. You know, the victim was facing toward the wall at the time of the crime. Right. That's the only thing we know for sure. Try to forget about everything the fuck else. Where would the killer have to be standing to strike our victim from the front? <laughs> Gotta be right, right in front of him. In the cabinet? Face? Uh, how would he be standing on the cabinet? What? Inside of it. Oh. Okay. Kill okay, I have to be standing here. Uh. You get points for flair, but that's about all you get. Ah, I thought I was onto something there too. I hardly need to point out that standing there would be impossible. Uh. The victim is facing a solid cupboard. Or are you claiming the killer climbed the cupboard and hit him from above? Ha! It's simple logic, really. Come on. If this was the only place the killer could have been standing, and that means that at the very moment of the crime. Wait, I know. Let me say it, let me say it. At the moment of the crime, the cupboard wasn't there. What's this now? I mean, that's the only explanation. All right, Mr. Gavin. Your Honor, I have a suggestion for the defense. We should arrange to examine the cupboard in the hideout immediately. Bailiff, send a team to the crime scene immediately. Have them try to move the cupboard. So nice uh, Your Honor. The what? There's one more thing you, your men should look for. Please give this to the bailiff. Hmm. Phoenix just had. Hmm. Yes, I see. You do you belong in the courtroom the after. <laughs> you do belong in the courtroom after all, Mr. Wright. I'd be trying. They chatted up. But let's forge ahead we're here while we wait. Okay. Look at the diagram once again. It's been changed. If the killer was standing here at the time of the crime. Then this cupboard wasn't here, which means... Hello, try moving the cupboard, please. Um, where should we move the cupboard? I don't know. To the left. To the left. Appreciate it. I'm surprised they didn't just say he was inside of it, but... Which Slenderman is getting the best head? As you can see, All the right. cupboard was the problem. As have been shown... This man really here. turned around and a killer was just in now between everything. two cupboards. Like, that's so silly as fuck, dog. Now everything is in place to reconstruct the moment of the crime. Oh my. What's what? this? What is it now? Look at the diagram of the crime scene once more. Oh my god. It appears we found yet another contradiction. This man should What I believe to be the final contradiction, in fact. Huh? Shit through the window. Oh, dang, like, am I, am I the defense attorney in this case or not? You know, there's something, oh, holo. Our line of deduction is rapidly approaching its logical conclusion. Oh my gosh, Phoenix is carrying me right now. Now then, yeah, Mr. Justice, the please point to the new contradicting indicator. Is it the victim, the killer, me, or pain? It's pain. Pain will always be number two. Exactly. That's why they gave him number two, because he's beneath. Me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the clap touch cheeks in the middle of that. Nice. About this. Are we all okay with assuming it was moved? Sure, why not? 
and ask you. You're anyway. Well, if it was something doesn't fit, or would completely cover up the window, to the stairs. <laughs> right. Something. Uh, someone standing outside wouldn't be able to see in. Someone like Mr. Gavin. What? What did you say? Oh. Is the coolest defense in the West losing its cool? Hmm. Don't expect me to play along with your little game, right? It's only a game until someone gets killed, Mr. Gavin. Ooh, that's Girl. a bar. And someone was while the window to the room to that room was blocked by a cupboard. Write that down, write that down. So, Mr. Gavin, perhaps you'd like to explain to the court? Exactly where did you get dude where did you witness the crime scene from? Don't say it, Kristoff. Excuse me, it. Your Honor. Order! This is a court of law and I will have order. We just now received a word from our investigative team at the BBC. <laughs> They've examined the cupboard and the hideout, Your Honor. Oh? And what did they find? Well, Your Honor. It turns out there's a secret passage behind it. Damn. Ooh, Nani? That explains more. Ah, uh, yes, I believe I mentioned something of the sort before. This is one of the tricks to the room many of our regulars know about. I do remember him saying something about that now that he mentioned it. Secret patches is hardly a thing to have. That's a handy engaged. thing. I think it passes as a handy thing to have when you're engaged in illegal going, uh, goings on. <laughs> you never know when you might need to duck away from the eyes of the law. He about to really get arrested for gambling, though. <laughs> he wasn't gambling. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, he was just playing a game. Future gambling. Mm -hmm. So the room has a secret passage. Where do it go? Go. Bing, bing, bing. You got the side connection to the restaurant above. <laughs> POV, your power went out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 6 a.m. Okay, the underworld bosses could get away from the cops. Is that the bite of Eddie Seven? And enjoy a cold bowl of borscht, no doubt. Just like our killer. Everyone's like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Pain's going through it. Pain is like, Pain's I'm, like, I'm always it. sitting in the back of this shit. I hope to God I'm getting paid extra for this bullshit. This is, I'm, I quit being a prosecutor after this. <laughs> this is the you third time our, it's happened, dog. You see where our line of simple deductive reasoning has led us? Oh, Apollo. Los Polos. I see it, but I don't know. Los That's Apollo. Apollo. Oh, that's Apollo. I want to be Polo so bad. I can tell you really want to Here, we can switch. Here. No. Shout out to Los. I see it, but don't believe it. That girl was, wasn't was kidding when she said, I needed this trump card for the last hand. Starts kissing you. <laughs> Why? At the time of the murder, the window was blocked, and that victim's hat. Don't think it, don't say it was only off of his head for the few minutes between Mr. Smith's murder. Mr. Rice returned from calling the cops. In other words, the only place anyone could have seen the victim's bald-ass head from the inside of the hideout. Well, Mr. Gavin? Come on, say something, please. Please. Please make me look good. Hmm. Please give me a water. Dare I ask what really happened that night? Actually, I think we can probably figure it out for ourselves at this point. That night, for whatever reason, our killer had a date with Mr. Smith. Date with Destiny. Where he crouched in a secret passageway behind the cupboard. Putting his breath, waiting for just the right moment. Chance came, he took it. Bonk, bang. What do sounds be like? Yep. So really was out cold, stripped by Mr. Smith. 
but his time was soon to come. Mr. Wright went upstairs to call the cops. Even Mr. Shady Smith alone in the hideout with the unconscious dealer. I'm surprised he left her in there by with it. Like, why did he? This dude was out of control. Who knows what else he could have done? Like, anyways. Mm -hmm. Then our killer stepped out from the secret passage into the hideout. The victim must have heard the cupboard sliding aside. What the fuck? Uh, bye bye. <laughs> Rest of, uh, listen again. <laughs> say, say, wee! Uh -oh. <laughs> After he just got done throwing a temper tantrum and like knocking, knocking out Arlie, he's like, "Yay, we!" Oh shit! <laughs> he would have, of course, realized the need to destroy the evidence. That single spot of blood told the whole story of the crime. bad for him he didn't linger any longer at the hideout that night he had he might have noticed the cards on the floor the fact they were all red mm. he said the hard arm <laughs> I would have allowed it and then the that the, 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 the victim released it <laughs> I beat women <laughs> I get killed <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems this trial has taken yet another turn. When is it not? I'm truly, truly sorry I had to come to this day. I had to see this day come, Mr. Gavin. You said you your ass, babe. Mr. Gavin? Mr. Bain! Yeah, yes, your age. The prosecution will continue its investigation. As for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the defendant, he is hereby cleared of all suspicion. Reasonable doubt. I lost my chance to get his ass beat. Believe me when I say that I don't believe this is happening, Mr. Gavin. But I'm afraid circumstances call for me to issue a warrant for your arrest immediately. I don't believe that you. Yeah, as we all know, this shit has to end right here. Oh, no need to apologize. I've rather enjoyed myself. It's not every day when you get to witness a legendary attorney's dirty tactics firsthand. Your point, Mr. Grove. Frankly, you you're <laughs> all right. Ew. Frankly, Your Honor, I'm shocked that a person of your caliber would be taken in by such a low grade parlor trick. You have no idea, Mr. G I mean, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> The defendant is cleared of all suspicion. Technicals be like. <laughs> this is hardly the time for jokes, Your Honor. You kind of looks like technicals. Mr. Wright yeah. hasn't proven yeah. anyone's or innocence here. What he's done is used illegal evidence to put the blame on someone else. And not just anyone else, but me, his own defense attorney. I. Illegal evidence? Let me ask you something real quick. Is there still any reason at present to suspect me of wrongdoing? Of course. The bottle, for instance. Bottle of grape juice? Mr. Wright was drinking? How do you intend to explain away the fingerprints on the murder weapon? And not just any fingerprints. Am I right, Mr. Payne? Mm, actually, yes. Fingerprints on the bottle were um, upside down. I seem to recall this being an issue earlier. The court in this case demands an explanation. I can think of only one reason why one would hold a bottle upside down. And that is to hit someone with the bottom of the bottle. Well, your rage? Hmm. Yeah, seems the, the caught fish squirms to the last. What a follow up? What? Your boss seems awfully concerned about this bottle still. 
but I'm sure you can come up with a suitable explanation just like that. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? How would anyone grab a bottle upside down other than to... Oh? What I'm tricking you thinking his explanation is the only legitimate one, all right? Well, is there really another? Why is he just... Take another, <laughs> take another look at the court record. Ugh. I believe you'll find a simple answer there. In plain sight, actually. Um, how about you just say the answer in plain words since you're just telling me to go to the court record it straight up? It would seem hasty to deliver a verdict with unanswered questions indeed. Well, Mr. Justice? Uh, Mr. Gavin said that the court in this case demand an explanation. Don't worry, Justice. Uh, don't worry. Justice won't leave this place until justice is done. Perhaps the defense would care to enlighten the court? What evidence do you have to explain why the fingerprints on the bottle are upside down? Uh, the one where they're, you know, sitting. Let me check that real quick. I want to see it. gonna grab a bottle from the bottom that's inside the damn crate <laughs> all right i mean yeah you you can just pick up a bottle like that upside down so you can from the floor so you can drink it like i don't understand that. that's weird <laughs> i don't know what that was about but what? it's actually easier to kind of just gonna swing it <laughs> it's actually easier to show playing your honor what's weird about it nothing oh okay Place that bottle on the floor next to your chair. Hey, excuse me? On the floor? Yes. Now reach down and pick it up. Without getting yeah. out of your chair. Ugh. Ah. What the fuck? He Simple machines on the human body? How? He drops it and it just shatters and there's grape juice everywhere. See? You naturally go to pick up the bottle by its neck. Your fingers upside down. Actually, I'm a boss. I can do it from the floor. Yeah, everyone, in the, everyone in the court is like, "Oh, I didn't." <laughs> it's like that picture of Drake and Little Yachty. At the <laughs> yeah, it's like, how could? Oh, I guess in this uh, case, they're trying to imply that bottles usually aren't at your feet like that. Look at this photograph taken on the night of the murder. Especially if it was behind him, he would have to like grab it like he was upside down. Yeah. Defendant, Mr. Wright, something, something. Playing piano, bottles of grape juice on the floor to the side of the piano bench. Who puts drinks Who'd on the floor? Naturally picked up the bottle upside down several times. Whoa, I can't believe it. It was that simple. Uh, recall our beer that evening, Christoph. I was drinking my use then too. Basically, he used the bottle on the table to do the deed. You must have remembered. I went and picked up one of the bottles from under the piano. He switched the bottles. He took one of Mr. Wright's bottles and made it look like murder weapon. Order, order, order. What do you have to say to these charges, Mr. Gavin? Mm. Fascinating. So this is the legendary attorney's famed tactic of misdirection. He's not Edgeworth. <laughs> you claim that I switched the bottle? Where's your proof? Uh, proof? Uh... As I thought, more baseless conjecture. I'm afraid your bottle of proof is quite empty. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure about that one. Um, Mama, <laughs> when you initiated the investigation of the hideout earlier, do you recall I requested an additional investigation? Uh, yes, I have your memo about that here. Retrieve the bottles from under the piano at the Borscht Bowl Club. And here's one of the bottles in question. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Dust that for fingerprints too? I'd be surprised if any were on but his. Mr. Carver probably wouldn't make such a novice mistake. That's true. 
A bottle won't bear a trace of anything. Say it, Polo. Yep. Why don't you go ahead and examine that bottle? <gasps> Why? The card in it. Just humor me. Mr. Wright. The bottle will solve this case once and for all. What? That's some bottle. Alright, so what are we gonna look at first? The card, uh, the card the card shaped uh bar at the top. Oh shit. What? I mean, you can look at the bottom. Is there only one thing to look at or Oh, because when you said something inside the bottle. Right here. Like we didn't try to open that bottle. This earlier. is a different bottle. This it's is a different one. bottle, Faith. Yeah, it's the the bait. Faith, were you paying attention? Faith, Faith, I'm not paying attention. The, the bailiff went to the crime scene. Remember that? Yeah. And Wright gave him a note. Remember that? Yeah. And on the note, Wright told him to go look for this bottle, and they found it. Basically, retrieve oh. all the bottles, bottles in the room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's a, it came out of, it came, it came in the I plot. Didn't, I had no, you know, I had no idea what was on the note, so. That, he, never mind. Oh, just, uh, just hurry, just hurry, just hurry. What's this? That, that card. It can't be. Recall that unpleasant woman's testimony for a momento. Uh, Miss Olga Orly? Or Orly? Yes, a little swindling bitch. <laughs> Say the <laughs> At night, I planted the card like I was supposed to. And then Wright lost the last hand, just like he was supposed to. Then Smith searched him. But the planted card was gone. The trap failed. Wait, this isn't... You're telling me that this is the planted card you disposed of? One you mentioned at the uh, in this piece of testimony. I'm gonna put my hand in my pocket and find a card. Yes, I took a peek at it and found it was the Five of Hearts. I had a feeling something might happen, so I disposed of the card before the game. Disposed? Where? It was an empty bottle of grape juice I've been drinking right beside me. Do the card inside that bottle. like a magic trick. No, the five of card, uh, hearts. This is the card. Bottles were swapped. And the only one who could have done that was the fourth person in the club that night. You, Mr. Christoph Gavin. Hmm. Vibrates. What the fuck? He could do that? I was about to say. He was able to read Psych. my mind earlier. I'm telling you, Mob Psycho 100. <laughs> season 3 coming out. Psycho so got scared. He about to assault them with plates, dog. GG's. <laughs> shake my hand? I'll never shake your hand. Is this your idea of revenge, Phoenix Wright? Revenge? Revenge for the events that took away your attorney's badge seven years ago? My past is like my logic. Straight and true. Mm, wasn't looking too straight with Shaddy. I know, right? <laughs> Nothing's changed. You shut your mouth. <laughs> All I did was point the finger of justice in the proper direction. It was one time. <laughs> it's a clear outlier, okay? <laughs> Fine. I'm glad we could have this little teat a tint. Right. Okay. This is insane. What about me? Don't I get to prosecute anymore? <laughs> no, what about no my You're a joke, Pain. I believe this time we finally come to an end of our trial. Mr. Payne, do you have a report for us on Christoph Gavin? He's admitted everything. We're prashing his arrest right now. I see. Still, one has to wonder why he would do such a thing. He didn't even have a connection to the victim. 
Did he? Yeah, none of that we know of. Mr. Wright, have you anything to add? I'm afraid I can't shed any more light on the matter. About this victim, Mr. Shady Smith. His occupation was listed as Traveler. An odd profession to be sure, and that's all we know about him. I'll arrange for a follow-up investigation, Your Honor. Yes, Good. let's go bring Gumshoe shoe back. Mr. Wright? What's up? Seven years, and you still haven't lost your touch. Christoph Gavin was a man with much significance for me. Both as a friend and a lawyer. He was extremely talented, to be sure. We have Bozo. I needed two things before I could confront him. The first was a place where no injustice would be tolerated, this courtroom. The second was a man who would tolerate no injustice. In other words, a defense attorney. You, Apollo. Me? A dark time is coming for our legal system. A twisting of justice brought on by our very own court system. Oh, finally. We have to set it right. This is the game where we tackle the corruption. Let's go. Changing the system. That's what I like, right? Mm hmm He's fed up. Mm -hmm. Our work lies ahead of us. And I, for one, am looking forward to it. Well, this seems like a good time to announce a verdict. This court finds a defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Bink. Not guilty. Do sprinkles everywhere yet? Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Maybe Get I want to stick around. What are you going to do about it? Huh? There's yeah. a bomb in the courtroom. Oh, oh shit, everybody. Oh, pack it up. <laughs> Funny. Blue, I hope you got that. It looks Apollo. You came through, just like I thought you would. Mm -hmm. Look at me go. I mean, it was mostly me, but I mean, you did. Uh, so I guess. I got hard carried in that case, man. <laughs> I ain't do shit. Was you really hard, Mr. Clearly, this case was more about you, Phoenix, than me. I was just playing support. Uh, me and it the was support. you who cornered the killer, uh, Mr. Gavin. Couldn't have done it by myself. Literally. You sensed it too, today, didn't you? Your, your uh, ability or whatever. My curse technique. Yes, a sensitivity. Uh, You're uh, sure sen gone. Yes, a sensitivity I lack. You'll come to understand soon enough, I'm sure. Damn, I look mad fucking different. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if he means... I have one question for the witness then. You said you saw the moment the defendant hit the victim. Is this true? Of course, it's true. It's this weird vibe I'm getting. You got weird vibes from that what one. What's that, Mr. Wright? You need to find the answer to that question yourself. I'm not you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Their dead ass was a piece of the arrow in the pendant. Like, that ability didn't start kicking in until after he touched it. The answer, really right. Today was full of questions without answers. Most of them about Mr. Gavin. What possible reason could he have to commit that murder? That was Phoenix. Oh, what possible reason could he have had to commit murder? Perhaps you'll learn that in the days to come. Dude, just tell me. This might help me in the future. I already know some shit's about to go down. Huh? You don't know, do you? This locket is the key. Oh, that reminds me. I met the girl whose picture is in the locket. of the stand arrow. Your daughter, right? That's right. She's my daughter. You know, you're right about this locket. Damn. Take this off his neck the night he died. But it looks like our dear Russian scam artist saw me. So the truth is, this locket really did belong to him. What the fuck? You stole that shit? <laughs> Damn, you a thief. Now we can arrest you. Hard body Phoenix. <laughs> yep, Do you hard body. Read? That's perjury! I already read it. No, yeah, you did didn't! You yes. said, what the fuck, you stole that shit. That's, that's not what perjury is. Anyways, you testified. You said that locket was yours. 
Yeah, I said no such thing, actually, so eat a dick. <laughs> uh, I merely said that it was a locket with my daughter's picture inside. Subtle distinction, but a distinction nonetheless. You gotta be sharper than that, Apollo. And it's the truth. Just like earlier when the lady said, Wait, then why? Mm, it's a predator. We really talk about him too much. <laughs> no. Why was the victim wearing a locket with the picture of your daughter inside of it? Sometimes the straightest path to the truth isn't the best one, give it time. Trust me. It's still getting, just getting started with your uh, little career here. Speaking of which, I might be out of a job. I work for Gavin Law Offices, after all. Man, I still can't believe I just saw Mr. Gavin get led away in handcuffs. Hey, Apollo. Yes? How about coming to work for me? <gasps> you mean at the Wright and Cole Law Offices? That's crazy, because you go to work It's not a single attorney in my generation. Apollo, Apollo. I mean, there's not a single attorney in my generation. What are these quick paints facial expressions? <laughs> there's not a single attorney in my generation that doesn't know it. Can't imagine that to be true, but... Hey. Didn't you? You're not a... Yeah, you're fired. Yeah, I turned my badge, but I mean, yeah, I'm not an attorney anymore. Mind your business. Fades to black. <laughs> That's the incident seven years ago. <laughs> he just got knocked out from that legendary trial. And at the middle of it all was one man, Phoenix Wright. That case reached its sad conclusion, and he left law for good. He's now a chaos, bro. Chaos, bro. He's hobo, right? Hobo. Odd about coming back to the courts? No, I'm not qualified to stand in a court of law, I'm afraid. Did you notice in today's trial? It was a single piece of forged evidence. Did you hear that music? Yep. Forged evidence? What are you talking about? In the car. Yeah, I'm talking about evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. A piece of evidence that struck me as odd is true. It just seemed, well, too perfect. I bet this was the forged evidence. It's the badge! I'm just kidding, it's the card. <laughs> You mean this, don't you? I got this from your, uh, your, your daughter, Mr. Wright. Yep. That car couldn't have been found at the crime scene. Why? Because the killer took it with him when he left. Even the wrong car in its place, luckily for us. The court can't accept this evidence. It's a fraud. Fraud? How can you be so sure? I don't think the only person who could claim it was a fraud would be the one who took the real card from the crime scene, the real killer scene. That's, how, that's when I knew it was good. I've heard it was already handed down seven years ago. And you really? Yes, I forced this card. I'm just raw like that. What can I say? One look at the crime scene should have told you it wasn't real. But you can't do something like that and call yourself an attorney. Which is All what right, he's saying, Apollo. Is. He's calling themselves an attorney, Apollo. So it's true. Rumor's true. You are Except fake. Here's the go. Eh, none of that matters much now, does it? It does actually matter. You done yelling? Screams in the fucking hole. Oh shoot! I punched him. I didn't see no visible should. reaction at all. <laughs> he did. There was yeah, a but if you're hard body in a heap of trouble, buddy. Oh, Seriously. but when a pearly punched the fuck out of him, he passed out. It's your. He's story. a kid. He has to do that. It's your story from here on out, Apollo. Perhaps I can help you turn the next page or something. My office is addressed. Drop in if you like. 
I bet you Phoenix has been to like the gym. Yeah, the It's the right. Um, about your uppercut. Try yelling, take that next time. I find it packs a little punch. Damn, he really said you weak. Oh, and Apollo, thanks for today. I had a good time. Bye bye. <laughs> and with that, Mr. Wright walked out the door with his happy ass music. That's how my first trial ended. A lot of mysteries went unsolved. And uh, at the time, I had no idea they were all. There you Did he actually cut out for real this time? That's cool. Jane. Oh, oh no. fuck. Not now. <laughs> we're so close. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> this chill music. <laughs> like, it's good. My computer legitimately just not even capping. I'm on my phone. That's hilarious. <laughs> your, your computer just turned off? Yeah. Every mystery that day, it apparently needs to install. Connected by a single form of logic. I find that soon enough. Or I find that out soon enough. My name is Apollo Justice, attorney at law, and this is how my story begins. With my computer. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we did. We beat the game. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah. Ace Attorney, Apollo Justice. This has been finished.